Huntsville's shop owners are feeling a bit stressed with the idea of Muskoka being dragged into the red or control section of Ontario's framework. Catherine Cole, owner of the Grapevine, says it's a fine line to walk for business owners right now who are already struggling. I'm concerned that we're moving into uh, winter, Christmas time, and it's a, always a more challenging time anyway for small business and that's just going to make it really dire for so many businesses and our, our main street and the health of our whole community. Just tell me a bit about how, you know, how tough it has been already for you this year. Well, uh, it was, I think so much of it was unknown in the beginning, especially, and um, I am a store that happens to sell um, groceries. I'm a grocery store as well as a uh, supplement store. So uh, at one point we were the only other store beside our two pharmacies on the main street still open and that decision was so challenging it was it ethical should we be here and then we really understood that the community wanted us to be here as did um, our physicians and other health um, partners I think we're Muskoka and yet our health units are all so integrated that I think that's the piece that they're trying they've got to try to figure out because I think the same thing about what happens if they do a whole okay we're shutting Ontario down if I lived way in the north or here where there's very few cases I wouldn't feel the same um, need to do that versus if you're in a metropolitan area. Kathy Sheridan owner of Reflections of Muskoka says she's been forced to take alternative measures already and try and keep up with the ever-changing landscape of retail during COVID times. For years I've uh, fought getting uh, a website because I like uh, mom and pop stores and going in and feeling and touching. So uh, about 10 days ago I did launch uh, a website and uh, it's due to necessity more than anything. Um, uh, and it's part of today's world. Um, people over 30 shop and people under 30 shop online. So I'm hoping to balance both. And the Artisan's Edge Barbershop owner Jennifer Thomas says this is an unfair situation Muskoka has been put into because of the health unit attachment with Simcoe. I think it's um, not quite sure why we're, uh, we're in that group. Um, it would be nice to see us kind of separated from that, I think, because of our numbers being so low. And with Muskoka being such, all of Muskoka being a lot of small businesses, we have a lot of control to keep quality control, right? Uh, to keep the numbers down inside of our little businesses, we can limit the numbers, limit exposure with people. So I think it's a, it's a, um, it would be nice to see them kind of take that into consideration for us instead of putting us with a bigger city like, you know, Barry or Rilia or, you know, that kind of. Many officials are already calling for Simcoe and Muskoka to be split up in terms of how they're treated in framework, including MPP Norm Miller, who claims to be having conversations with the Premier on this matter. Miller was also pumping up the idea of shopping local this holiday season at Queen's Park today. Even if you don't want to go into stores right now, many local shops have developed websites so you can browse your inventory from home. Or they will be happy to take orders over the phone for curbside pickup or delivery. Restaurants are offering gourmet takeout meals, and a break from cooking dinner always makes a good gift. I encourage everyone to support local businesses and their communities as much as possible this holiday season, not only by shopping at local stores, but by looking for high-quality products made in Ontario or Canada. When we shop local, money goes back into our communities and supports the local economy. 